Hello there everybody, my name is Justice Fist and in today, um, today's video I'm going to answer um, a request that I've been getting quite a bit of lately uh, concerning how um, to get tracked vehicles working uh, in Mudrunner. Now um, it, it took me a while to, to figure this out myself uh, a while back, um, but the, the main thing that that you need to do to get Mudrunner uh, working with tracked vehicles is you need to run Mudrunner using a program called Spin Tires Mod EXE. But uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go step by step uh, through uh, the way in which I, I do this. Now there are uh, easier ways to do this out there especially when installing the mods um, but I'll, I'll talk more about that um, as I go. So step by step. The first thing you need is Spin Tires Mod EXE. Now here is the. I will uh, leave these links in the description of the video. Here's where I, I go to download uh, Spin Tires Mod EXE. Um, now I'm using Google Chrome. Okay, and as you can see, um, it, it's in Russian. <laughs> um, but th this is the only place that I know of. T this is the, where the author of this mod uh, posts his newest updates of, of this mod. So you're always going to find the latest version of this here. Um, now, yeah, it's in Russian. So if you're using uh, Google Chrome, just click right here, translate this page, translate, and uh, there you go. Um, and you know, see, it, it tells you all about the mod, this uh, Spin Tires Mod EXE here. Um, now, you can use this program to uh, to install your mods for you. I never really got into that, uh, into how to do that. I, I do it manually, and it's it's it can be a lot of work depending on the nature of the mod but it's a surefire way that the mod will work the the only thing I really use this program for um, is to launch the game because it, it hacks the game engine in such a way as to allow for things like uh, tracked vehicles to function and uh, as well as um, you know larger uh, mod maps and stuff like that so come here download it right and it's gonna be um, it's going to be, um, how should I say, it's, it's compressed, right? So, um, here are the different hosts you can download it from. Um, you know, uh, I always I always tell everyone to make sure you have a good antivirus, you know. I use uh, Malwarebytes, um, just because these pages can be a bit funny, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to get spammed with pop-ups and everything else, um, you know, it's sort of the way it is there we go we're getting malware bites of saying oh hey whoa whoa you know so these sites are kind of you know I think if you click on it enough times it'll go through there it goes so yeah so anyway make sure you have a good I mean I'm not saying that those are malware it, you know malware bites isn't telling me it is malware it says it could potentially be malware right so um, you know make sure your antivirus is on and working um, download that that's the first thing you're gonna do now, as you can see, it's compressed. Now, uh, if you're like me, you don't have uh, WinRAR or WinZip, you got to buy that program, right? Um, but there is another one out there. It is called 7-Zip. So all I did here is just uh, Google search download 7-Zip. Boom, download 7-Zip from the 7-Zip website. Um, you want the executable file. Uh, and, you know, what do you, whatever you have, a 32-bit system, 64-bit system, whatever. Um, download it and run the execute file that will install 7-zip and it's exactly the same as WinZip or WinRAR except it's totally free and so once you have uh, 7-zip installed then um, you can you can go to your your files let me see here I have um, here we are this is where I originally downloaded spin tires mod exe um, so you're gonna have this 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 7-zip file so now when you right click on things you're going to get the 7-zip option is going to come up uh, and then um, I recommend you put the like the um, spin tires uh, mod exe that you downloaded into a, an, its own file uh, folder like I've done here I've made a, a folder on my desktop called mud runner mods and then I've made a subfolder for uh, mud runner mod exe as you can see I had a previous version uh, 168 doesn't work anymore because of um, the Valley DLC update, so a newer version, the 169, now uh, functions properly. So you, when you right-click on this, go to 7-zip because you have 7-zip installed now, right? Uh, just hit extract here, and then you will get your install application file. Double-click on that, 
and you'll get into um, the Spin Tires mod installation, and it's pretty straightforward. If I double click on it here, I think it's going to um, give me some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. So anyway, you get this installed. Now the key to getting this to work properly is. Um, a simple thing that you have to do that a lot of people it's a step that a lot of people miss um, so you click on finish now it's gonna open just this is it this is all it is and you see the little button here down here is to launch um, mud runner from this program now um, here's the thing this is what you need to do here okay it wants to know where MudRunner is installed on your computer. Now, if you're using MudRunner through Steam, which obviously you are, this is this is exactly where it's going to be for everybody. You want to direct it to this um, to this path. So, if I go and install here for a second, oh, it's not going to make me do it. Okay, but install. Um, so yeah, you see, it's going to bring this up, right? And so obviously, it's going to be on your C drive, unless you have a D or E drive, whatever. But uh, program files, right? Um, you scroll down to Steam and uh, it's going to be in Steam Apps uh, Common and then there it is, Spin Tires Mud Runner. you click on that you hit OK, boom now it that's it, apply Spin Tires Mod EXE is ready to go so I'll close that for a second so, okay I want to install some track vehicle mods now now this is where this is where it gets a bit funny because I do this manually. I do this by hand, um, <laughs> file for file, folder for folder. Okay. For example, um, I recently downloaded the latest uh, TT4 version of the TT4. Now, um, the one that I have no longer works since uh, since the Valley, for example. Now, this is where I go to download all my mods. Pretty simple, mudrunner.com, um, and the TT4, for example. Um, you know, if we go to the main page here, you see you've got uh, trucks, cars, tractors, vehicles, trailers, you've got your maps and all that. Uh, quickest way to find the TT4 is to click on tractors. There it is. And then you download it in the exact same way that you just downloaded Spin Tires Mod EXE. Again, uh, your antivirus is going to go a bit crazy, uh, warning you, hey, you know, don't know if these places are uh, safe. Um, might get some questionable pop ups going on, but anyway, download, green button, boom. Now you've got it downloaded. Uh, as I said, as I said before, I keep my Mudrunner mods in their own folder on my desktop. So uh, Mudrunner mods, and then I I have it organized here. Um, you know, map mods, all this stuff, uh, truck mods, TT4 new. Bang! As you can see, I've already downloaded it and moved it into here. But you're not going to have this folder right away. Uh, this is what it's going to look like you have the RAR so you downloaded 7-zip right so no problem right click 7-zip extract here now here's where it gets a bit funny as well now um, as I said I do these manually so I'm gonna copy and paste all the files into the games root folder myself and I do this so often that I've actually made a shortcut on my desktop to my mudrunner uh, root folder on, on my hard drive so basically this is where you're going. I like to get both of these windows open up together. It makes this a lot easier. So you're going, you know, uh, this PC, uh, for me it's a C drive, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, spin tires, mud runner. Now, this folder here corresponds to this one here, media, right? But it's not called that. And this creates a problem uh, with the Russian characters. It, it doesn't like when you try to copy things from here to here uh, because, you know, we have a. Um, an English version of the game. It doesn't like that. So if you rename this, I just uh, rename it exactly what it is here. Media. Why not? Right? So now you'll see when we go into here, we have uh, the same folders underscore M, underscore T, underscore M, underscore T. Uh, we have classes here. And so I just go into each folder, underscore M there, underscore M here, and copy and paste the file, man. Now there are other ways to do this. I just haven't really explored those uh, those ways of doing it. I find that uh, doing it manually this way is the surefire way. It it will work as long as you don't miss any of the files. You have to be very methodical. You know, as, as I said, man, get yourself comfortable, crack a cold one, 
take your time, and, and it takes a while, right? Because it's you, it's a compressed folder. The the files are compressed, zipped, whatever you want to say. So you know, it takes a takes a minute to. It, it's lengthy, right? But this is basically how you do it. This is how I do it, anyway. Now, uh, Spin Tires Mod EXE can be used to do this automatically for you, um, but I haven't got into how to do that. I've always just done it manually, you know, and I'll go through folder for folder. You know, copy, paste. It's tedious. It's tedious, man. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but it works. It works every time. Okay, so that's it. It's a little tedious, I agree. Um, and if, you know, you can look into how to use Spintires Mod EXE if you're so inclined to do it for you. Um, I just got into the habit of doing this this way, and this is how I do it. So that's everything in the media file. That's everything we needed to put into the the media file on the game. So now the only thing left to do is go ahead and launch the game using Spintires Mod EXE. Um, the icon on your desktop will look like this. Um, uh, you know, we just talked about how to install it. You double click on it and it's going to open just this, this little thing, man. And then you right click here on Mud Runner um, and it'll, it will launch the game through here. So I'm going to do that now and uh, we'll see if all this worked. Okay, so here we are in the game. I launched through um, Spintire's Mod EXE the way I just showed you. And so let's see if this works. Now, pick a level to, uh, I have a bunch of mod maps here as you can see. Um, where is the level that I usually use to test these things? Uh, I believe it's this one. So, the TT4. There it is. 
Wow, the new version looks awful in that icon. Look at that. Oof. There it is. Wow. It sounds like a chainsaw or something. <laughs> this is the first I've seen of the new version of this thing. So there you go. There you have it, man. Oh, the rusty tracks. I like that. I like that. Very cool. So that's it, man. That's that's how you get them working. I, I hope um, this video made sense. I, I've never made a tutorial video before, so um, uh, I'm new at it. So <laughs> I hope you were able to bear with me and follow my instructions. Um, if you have any, any other questions or if something's unclear, uh, just say so in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys uh, get this working. Um, because it is a lot of fun, you know? It's, it, uh, it brings uh, something different to the game that's just uh, just a lot of fun. So, um, let me know if it was helpful or if there's, as I said, anything you're not, uh, you're not clear on. Uh, don't be afraid to ask me, man. I'm always happy to help, alright? So, anyway, I hope it worked out for you guys. Um, thanks for joining me, and I will catch you in the next video.